Hey guys, it's Bakusaki, and we're back for more Earthbound. On the last episode, we came into this weird dungeon place where they're fucking piss annoying enemies are. So we're here looking for our friends. We're looking for Apple Kid, and we're looking for Tony, Jeff's friend, uh, who's missing, and Dr. Andonuts, and other people presumably. But most importantly, you might have seen when I first started this video is that we have the Sword of Kings. I swear, I started looking for it when I finished off the last video, and not even fucking ten minutes later, I found it. That is like the fastest, the fastest one that I've done ever. I am just so fucking proud of myself. I didn't even, I was expecting to be here for like hours. I mean, because of my last playthrough, I didn't even get it. I gave up after, after like fucking two days of looking for this thing. And as you can see, we didn't really go up that many levels. Usually I'm well into like my 70s by the time I find it. That anyway, whatever, I'm gonna... Let's... Fucking, I got the sword. It increases your offense. It gives him a really good offense boost, so now he doesn't do... Now he actually does damage. Anyway, we're gonna continue on through this dungeon. So... Um... Yeah, one thing I wanted wanted to mention is that when you get to start getting high enough levels, you can just auto get an automatic win on the star mid, and that honestly makes hunting for the sword a lot easier. Uh, another thing that helps is you remember the KC bet that we got from Master Barf. I recommended not equipping it. However, um, if you find yourself if you find it like hard getting surprise opening attacks on star men, like or if you find hard getting instant wins, I should say. Uh, if you equip the case about it, it'll boost your offense to put over that little... that little invisible barrier, I guess you would say, that threshold to where you would uh, get instant wins on them. And here is a little place to get exit mice, which I honestly would recommend coming here and getting one. Like if you, you spend a long time hunting for the sword, because it'll take you back to the entrance of the cave and then you can go heal up and come back. So yeah, I'm not, uh, not going to get one right now because I want to come back through the cave and get like all of the items that I missed. And this room always freaked me the fuck out as a kid because the lights are going on and off and I can't really see where I'm going and it's just... Holy shit, it's it's intense. This, this whole... This whole area is just... I don't know, it always scared me. Oh god, another one of these assholes. I'm so sick of them. <sighs> I didn't really fight that many of them uh, in my downtime, but holy shit. Just, you saw me on camera, you saw how fucking enraged that I got when fighting these assholes. It was. God. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't even have anything to say about them anymore. I said all that I could. Ooh, broken trumpet. I, another items for Jeff. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Now, this is also a good place to hunt for the sword, because the only starmen that appear here are starmen supers. The only downside is they get more of those stupid atomic power robots. Alright, this guy, the military octobot. He isn't so tough, but he can steal items. Most notably, rock candies and other important things like that, so I would just... I would honestly would suggest putting important things like that in escargo because you don't want to get those things stolen. And you see that sword fucking boosts Pooh's attack like a mofo. It's totally worth the hunt in my opinion. And I just like having it too, just because, you know, for completion's sake. But yeah, really nothing to say about those Octobots. They're... I don't know, I, I guess they have an okay beam attack, and they can probably solidify you or something, I don't fucking know, because I honestly never, don't fight them that much. Thunder... ooh, Thunder Gamma. Okay, I'm gonna go over Thunder Gamma real quick. I have keyboard to cooperate. Yeah. Uh, it does more powerful thunder than Alpha and Beta, and it also hits three times, so... Not much to it, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill poo back up. Fucking recover 73 PP. Hell yeah. Uh, better get Jeff too. He's kind of hovering pretty low. Oh god. Thankfully, you still get green swirls. 
I really like fighting Starmen, to be honest, because it's so easy to just get the preemptive and run away and stuff. Okay, and what is this? Pixie's bracelet. I'm gonna give that to, um, I think I'll give that to Jeff. Because I, I think it equips speed or something, and speed is honestly a pretty good thing for him to have. Especially in the in the later battles. It's like, the faster that he goes, uh, the better it is. And oh my god, what the hell? Holy shit, it's Tony! And and Dr. Anna, it's an Apple Kid! And a Mr. Saturn, and Mr. T? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Tony, speak to us. Oh no, I can't see anything. Jeff! Where is Jeff? Can't, well, can't breathe. Oh no! God. Can't breathe. Can't last much longer. Next, next room. Holy shit, you guys. I... Okay, yeah, I have to see what the hell is this. The star man. If I can just get up the stairs. What the hell, man? You are much stronger than our intelligence indicated. We were not prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the Apple of Enlightenment may be true, but you must not underestimate us. Oh shit, it's boss. Alright, this motherfucker. This is one of the first enemies in the game that has a shield on it when you start the battle. So this is where I would recommend using Jeff's Neutralizer. It will completely take out the shield. And the particular shield that he has is... Um, is a psychic power shield, so you can't use PSI on him if you don't want, if you, or else it'll get reflected back at you. It's, it's really dumb. Oh, fucking! I didn't even think he could restore it. God damn. Well, I'm honestly not gonna bother taking out a shield again. Instead, I'm gonna put a shield up on all of us, and I'm just gonna use my bazooka and. Well, shit, I guess I'll just bash at him. Yeah, you want protection from PSI with this boss because he can use PSI Star Storm. Yeah, he can. It's... It's just... I can't even. It's... But yeah, as long as he has a shield up on it... Well, actually I'm going to try Thunder because Thunder uh, will actually destroy the shield. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you can get a hit on him, it's a good thing. There we go. What?! Oh, shit. I... Oh god. Fuck. I totally forgot that it just deflected it. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that... Shit, I better do something. Well... I think Pooh has life noodles, so I'm just gonna let her go, and then... His shield... His shield is gone now, so I can use PSI on him. And here, Pooh, you revive Paula. Yes, rockin'. Just fucking demolish him. Yeah, I. I totally. What? That was it? I. Dang! The, I honestly expected that to. Oh, Flash Hannah. I honestly expected that to be a much longer fight. That... Wow. I... I wasn't... I legit was not expecting that. Well... And then suddenly the entire base uh, goes to hell and ceases operations. An important thing to note is that... Okay, well... When you defeat a Starman DX, the Stonehenge base ceases functioning. An important thing to note that is, as soon as you beat the Starman Super, all of the other enemies in the base will disappear. So, if you want the Sword of Kings, you have to get it before you fight the Starman Deluxe. Now, we got some pretty cool powers from that fight. Uh, we got Flash Gamma, which has a pretty high chance of defeating enemies in a single strike. And we also got Healing Omega. And it... In addition to the effects of healing Gamma, this revives a friend who becomes unconscious and it completely maxes out the person's HP. So yeah, we got two pretty awesome powers. 
And hey, all of the paw scissors are gone. I was scared, but I knew I'd be safe if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. Kidnapped, happy, rescued. I give you a ribbon. Ooh, Saturn rib. I can give that to Paula. Yay. That is a pretty fucking awesome defense boost. Okay, Apple Kid, talk to us. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Ananuts. See you. I'm... What? You're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the one at library. Please use the book to help the shy tent of the tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow. I was kidnapped by some of Gigas' toadies. You certainly sound happy about that, Apple Kid. Hey, Dr. Ananuts! Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the phase of sword as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. You've got important things to do. Mr. T? I was kidnapped while milking a cow on my farm. I didn't think they'd get a ransom by kidnapping little old me. <laughs> Tony! Jeff! Jeff, buddy! Oh, me! Oh, my! You came to rescue me, pal! Oh, Ness? I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friend. I've known him for the longest time. Aw, Tony, you're so cute. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all that you've done. Well, anyway, I'm going to take the opportunity to go back through the base and get the items that I missed before. So I will see you back outside. Alright, here I am. <laughs> back at Winners and having to fight one of these stupid bears. Hooray. <sighs> After that dungeon, I'm... Welcome for some fucking easy ass enemies. But yeah, just need to get to an open idea so I can teleport. Stay away, stupid K-boys. I don't want your shenanigans anymore. Alright. Let's head to Wanette. Because Apple Kid said he returned it to the library. Let's go. This is our first time back in Wanette in like fucking forever since like the beginning of the game, man. Feels kind of weird being back home, doesn't it? I mean, just through went went through that fucking annoying ass dungeon, and then back home and went out with its cheery music. It's I wasn't kidding when I said that this game had mood whiplash. All right, now when looking for the book, it's you just check these shelves here. It's actually it's actually completely random which place you, you'll find it. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> that took as... that didn't take as long as I thought it would. But yeah, once you get the book, you just teleport back to Tenda Village, you know. It's really easy, just in and out. Um, before I do that, though, I'm gonna take a minute to uh, go back to Nessa's home, and my inventory's pretty fucking full right now, so I'm just gonna uh, deposit some of that stuff, sell some stuff off, and... So yeah, I'll... just give me a second. I'll see you back at Tenda Village. And we're back at Tenda Village. So, just gotta find the Elder again and give him the Shyness book. Book! Can fix Shyness! Thanks! Relax! I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my Shyness already! I'll really take time to read it to everyone! The leader of the Tenda tribe read Overcoming Shyness to Everyone. I'd like to give you some tender kraut in return. Tender kraut is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Ness lends the leader of the tender tribe the book Overcoming Shyness. Paula got the tender kraut. Huh. Oh god. What? Are, are you serious? I... Really? <sighs> you just bust through the ceiling in this place. Probably scaring the poor little guy shitless. Or maybe not since they're not shy anymore, but I just I don't even know what to say to you anymore, camera dude. Hey you, I have a happy little question for you. Usagi von Awesomestein. Usagi von Awesomestein, are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right, you can change it. <laughs> nah, I think I'm good. Usagi von Awesomestein, are you sure that's what you want? Are you happy with the name? Yes, I am. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, I said. Yeah, I thought you made up your mind. <laughs> well. What? 
Dad, are you serious? No, not taking a fucking break. Stop calling me. Leave me alone. I have to save the world. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, now that the tennas aren't shiny anymore, we can talk to them. They all say stuff. Hi. Aww. Welcome to this floor. Take a rest. Long journey must have been. I'm a woman. Did you think I was a man? <laughs> I guess. Hi, how are you today? Oh, you're not feeling well. Be healthy. <laughs> oh, but cuties. Yeah, this guy I mentioned before was a shop. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life. I give you something. Look at this. Yeah, you can go and you can go to Saturn Valley and buy Horns of Life from the shop there, and you can trade them off for this stuff. It's honestly, it isn't worth it because they're like two thousand bucks a piece almost, and <laughs> yeah. The only thing I would suggest looking for, well, you have to sh start from the top of the list, trade up and trade up. It's like, it's like trying to f get stuff from a fucking carnival game or something, because you start with the plain rolls, and then you have to move up and move up to the good stuff, and I honestly would not recommend it. Underground, very large area. Exist. Dinosaurs. Big. Scary. Lost underworld. Stone. There is. Talks lots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk to this little dude here. Would you like some tea? Uh, sure. Drink. Like a great tapestry, vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. You may have cursed this never-ending journey. You have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. Your inborn intelligence and courage have helped bring you here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how much your power has grown? Now you could fell enemies in Winnet and Tucson with one blow. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Gigas, the Archfiend of the Universe, is growing frightened of you and your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. From here, the challenge grows and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gigas. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. Ness, Paula, Jeff, Pooh. I wish you luck. I am never taking anything to drink from a weird little creature ever again. Fucking tripping balls. No. Oh! God damn it. Fuck. I'm cutting this. I seriously did not mean to do that again. I mean, it's just, it's cold in here and my finger is gonna stiff and what I wanted to do was talk to this guy again. Since we came over camera shine, I'll give you a bag of Dragonite. Take it. Yeah, this is like the third bag of Dragonite in the game you can get. And as you saw on the list from the shop tend, uh, he has one too. So, yes. And over to these guys. These were the important ones. Recently, everyone is able to talk a lot, so I've lost my identity. Aw, poor little guy. Anyway, talk to us, dude. 
powerful I so show everyone uh, I got it I got it yeah Wow my power awe inspiring yeah no kidding damn oh let's take a look it's a rock with a face on it good evening I'm a talking rock but the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth ways ahead. In the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock, it's important. Huh. Well. Yeah. We'll actually, uh... I'm gonna cut this off here. We'll check that out next time. So. It's quite an eventful day. Uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. This has been Baka Usagi, and I'll see you next time.